So today's practice will be a 50 minute flow. You don't really need anything except for a space cleared out in your house, your yoga mat, and just a comfortable outfit. Um, we'll start out on our back. So you can go ahead and lay down with me. And we'll be coming into a reclined butterfly with the soles of our feet together and knees drifting apart. So your legs here will create a diamond shape. And then if you'd like to, you can rest your palms down onto your belly. Or you can rest one palm on your heart and one on your stomach. Take a few deep breaths here and just start to settle into your body. Feeling how the boundaries of your skin shift ever so slightly as you inhale, noticing that expansive feeling. And as you exhale, invite yourself to further settle in eventually closing down your eyes and relax into your facial muscles. Find a slight tuck of your chin down towards your throat. Each breath moves more deeply than the last. Beneath your breath, you might find that some thoughts arise. Can you put those aside just for the next 50 minutes? Tuning into what your body needs, and of course you're welcome to modify anything that we do today. Gathering those fragmented parts of your focus, to hone total awareness onto your mat now. And take about five more full body breaths. Gather your knees into your chest. Give yourself a tight squeeze. Rock your body side to side, starting to awaken into your lower back, as well as your hips and your hamstrings. Take your knees open nice and wide. Grab for your ankles, or you can grab the outside edges of your feet for a happy baby pose. Work to root your tailbone down as you draw your toes towards the wall behind you. Send your breath deep into your belly. Shoulders are rooting. Keep length in the back of your neck. Gaze is soft, or maybe you keep your eyes closed here if you prefer that. One more deep breath in and out. Hug your knees back together into your chest, tight squeeze. Interlace your fingers over your right shin. Stretch your left leg out, long wind removing pose. Press into your heels as you fan out your toes. The shoulders stay soft. Right knee is moving closer to your right shoulder, breath by breath. If you feel the invitation, grab hold of your right shin or again the outside edge of your foot for a half happy baby. Stay heavy into your left hip. Right toes are now moving towards the back of the room. Hug your knee back into your chest, deep breath in, and then release your right arm open to the side into a half cactus or T. Cross your knee to the left, landing in a supine twist. Drop your gaze over your right shoulder, get heavy here. Each exhale rinses away some tension from your day. 
Relax your jaw. With your next inhale, move back through to center. Hug both knees back into your chest. Toes draw towards your shins. Interlace your fingers over your left shin. Now right leg extends. Engage into that quad muscle. Pulling your left knee up closer to your left armpit. Stay right here or you can grab hold of your foot, the outside edge, or grab hold of your shin, half happy baby. And you're welcome to play with a little bit of movement or if you're craving more of a static position, honor that today. Last couple of breaths right here. Good, take your knee back into your chest. Free your left arm open to the side, half T or cactus. And then twist, knee moves to the right side of your body. Encourage your breath to move all the way down the curvature of your spine. And letting the weight of your body do most of the work for you here. We'll take two more breaths. Chin rolls over to your left shoulder. Last one. Take your knees back into your chest, deep breath in, tight squeeze. And roll yourself over to one side, press up into a tabletop position. So we'll meet here with shoulders stacked over wrists. Hips over knees, spread your fingers wide, press your palms actively into the ground, and then scoop your chest forward, tailbone up, breathe in. Exhale to reverse that movement, round through your spine, belly hugs upwards. Inhale to arch deeply, ribcage drop, sit bones widen, and then exhale to reverse that. Keep moving along with your own breath, but feel free to shift side to side, swaying your hips, maybe opening more into the sides of your rib cage and noticing how balanced you feel today. And take a couple more breaths, moving into the shoulder joints, keep your elbows nice and soft. And take yourself back into a neutral tabletop, gaze down between your thumbs, Stretch your right leg back, press your toes into your mat. Reach your right arm up, find a side plank variation. Feeling the outside edge of your right foot down, widen your chest, shoulder blades draw together. Rotate your gaze up to your right thumb if you feel stable here. Full breath in, exhale, release to tabletop. Stretch your left leg back now, toes stay connected to your mat. Reach your left arm up, spread wide through your fingers. Broaden your collarbones. Exhale, return to a tabletop position. Keeping hips stacked over your knees, walk your arms forward, bow your chest down to your mat, melting heart, anahatasana. Take your chin down or forehead down. And you're welcome to take your arms a little bit wider. If you want it to be more active, tense your fingertips. Draw your bottom ribs in. Send breath in between your shoulder blades. Let go of any unnecessary gripping here. And then mindfully press back into a tabletop. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, find a downward facing dog, starting to stretch into that whole back line of your body. Feet are hip distance apart, wrist creases are parallel to the top of your mat. Relax your head and neck, pedal your legs out. Draw your belly in, and tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Feel your spine lengthen. Grounding down into all 10 fingertips. And slowly tiptoe your feet up to the top of your mat. We'll meet in a forward fold. Feet will be hip distance apart. Take a moment and spread your toes here. Set up a wide foundation. And then press your palms to your thighs or shins. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale to cast your body forward fold. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. Ragdoll your upper body so it's completely passive. 
Stay strong into your legs. Knees are soft. Bring a little bit more weight into the balls of your feet. Roll your inner thighs towards the wall behind you. Widening through the lower back. Find stillness now. Can you pull your abdominals in? Lifting your hips a little bit higher. Breathe in and out. One more time, inhaling. Exhaling. Fingertips to your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, root to rise. Exhale, bring your palms through to the center of your heart. Inhale, reach up. Grab your left wrist with your right arm. Reach up and over to the right side wall. Press your pelvis to the left. Moving into a half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Keep even pressure through both your feet. Shoulder blades draw down away from your ears. Move back through center, inhale, switch your grip, and then grow tall from your waist, reach left. And feel both sides of your rib cage expanding. Hips are moving to the right. Tailbone drops down towards your heels. As you hug your low belly in, core stays engaged. Move back through center, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step your left leg all the way back. Drop your knee down and then reach up, kneeling lunge. Allow your shoulder blades to slide down away from your ears, keeping length into the sides of your neck. And then interlace your hands behind you. Squeeze your palms together here. Reach your knuckles down as you elevate your sternum towards the ceiling. Maintain length in the back of your neck. Right heel is heavy, sink low. Keep breathing. Free your arms back into the air, breathe in. Exhale, take your hands to your mat. Straighten into your front leg, we'll move into a half split. Stacking your hips over your left knee. Pull your right toes up actively towards the ceiling as you expand your chest forward. Pull your right hand towards the back right corner of your mat. Steady breath. We'll start to flow here as you inhale, shift forward, deep bend in your knee, reach up. Exhale, plant your hands down, hinge from your waist. Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, walk your hands forward, reach up. Exhale, back into your half splits. Move along like this with the rhythm of your own breath. So there's never any rush. Be true to that pace that you need. And there's really no wrong way to practice and to move our bodies as long as we're not feeling any pain and we're connected to our breath. As you lunge back into your front knee, stay, keep your hands down, and then walk your right foot to the outside edge of your mat for lizard pose. Turn your toes out, they're about at two o'clock, and then roll onto the outer edge of your foot. Feel your knee winging open to the side. Send your breath down into your hips. Option here to come down onto your elbows, but keep your chest broad here. Spine is long and neutral. So try to avoid that rounding through the upper back that happens and sometimes when we're a little bit too tight. So if that's happening, come back onto your hands. A few more full breaths here to sink to your edge. And come back up onto your palms. Tuck your back toes under, stretch your right leg up and back. Bend your knee, open your hip, three-legged dog. Feel even pressure through both palms. Come high up onto your left toes, inhale. Exhale, sink your left heel down towards your mat. Two more like that, inhale to lift high, right knee stays high, exhale, sink, left heel down. One more time on your in-breath, lift, and exhale, float your heel down. Step your right foot down to your mat, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, shift forward into a high plank. Exhale, lower all the way onto your mat. You're welcome to use your knees here. Then ground your pelvis, untuck your toes, lift your chest, cobra pose will hold. Keep your gaze down. Palms are nice and light here, so you're using the strength in your back. Relax your glute muscles. Hug your inner thighs together. Feel your upper back engaged. Lift a little bit higher. Take a breath in. Exhale, release your chest down. Press back into a tabletop. Send your right toes back. Inhale, right arm to the sky, coming into our side plank variation. This time, float your right leg up, and then bend into that leg. Reach back and grab the outside edge of your foot. Here, kick back into your hand. Use that force to expand your chest and that whole front line of your body. Move deeper, breathe in. Exhale, float your limbs down, tabletop. Send your left leg back. When you're ready, left arm goes up. Toes are wide. Float your left leg. And then bend into that knee, grab the outside edge of your foot. Kick back into your hand. Your floating leg is strong. Keep rooting into your right palm. Inhale. Exhale, return to your tabletop. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Pull your tailbone upwards. Float your left leg up and back. Kick your heel straight towards the wall behind you. And then step your foot forward for warrior one. Drop your back heel down, toes point out to two o'clock. Reach up. Sink low into your front knee. It stacks over your ankle. Square your hip bones to the wall in front of you. Take a full breath in. Exhale, open to warrior two. Taking that longer stance, outer edge of your back foot is parallel to the short side of your mat. You can see your left big toe. Sink low into your front knee. And then reach forward on your in-breath, land your elbow to your thigh, extended side angle. Rotate your chest open. Stay light into your left arm, or you may open your arms into a T here. Back leg is strong and straight. Inhale to rise up, warrior two. Exhale, ground your palms down. Float your right leg high into the air. Pour your chest down towards your standing foot. Thigh muscles are engaged. Lift high through your right heel. Breathe in. Exhale, step your foot down. Big toes touch. Forward fold. Now bend your knees a lot. Reach your arms up into the air. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Weight is in your heels now. Thighs squeeze together. Inhale, straighten your legs. Reach tall. Take a mini back bend. Exhale, bring your hands to connect at the center of your heart. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, find a long spine. Exhale, step your right leg all the way back. Lower your knee down, reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers behind you, take the opposite grip. Squeeze the heels of your hands together, shoulder blades together. Invite your chest to rise, gaze rises. Let's smooth out any creases in the back of your neck. Get a little bit heavier into your left heel. Arms reach up on your in-breath. Exhale, take your hands to your mat, straighten into your front leg, half splits. Left hip draws towards the back left corner of your mat. Reach your chest towards your front toes. Let's move with breath now. As you inhale, shift forward, foot grounds. Reach up. Exhale, your hands meet your mat. Hinge from your waist, half splits. Inhale, walk your hands forward, float your arms. Exhale, hands to your mat. Draw your hips back. Keep moving now with your breath. Each time you lunge, sink a little bit lower, moving into the space that you're creating with this movement. And there's no rush. 
Simply feel here. Feel the sensations in your body and how your breath powers your movement. When the next time your hands come down to your mat, take them to the inside of your foot. Walk your left foot open nice and wide. Turn your toes out, 10 o'clock now. Keeping that foot flexed so you have a straight line from your heel to your knee. Choose to stay here or come down onto your elbows. Pull your collarbones apart, chest reaches towards the wall in front of you. Belly button hugs up towards your spine for support. Get low into your hips. Lengthen your breath. Two more here. Press yourself up to your hands, spread your fingers wide, tuck your back toes under, three-legged dog, bend your knee, open your hip here. Press your left shoulder down so your shoulders are level. Pull your left knee a little bit higher, inhale up onto your right toes. Exhale, sink that heel back down towards your mat. Two more, inhale, heel lifts as high as you can. Exhale, heel sinks down. Inhale, heel lifts. Exhale, release that heel down. Step your left toes to your mat, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your mat. Lift your chest, ground your pelvis, cobra pose. Pull your shoulder blades down towards your heels. Zip your legs up together. Send energy into the balls of your feet. Gaze is down. This time, float your hands up. Reach your arms back into an airplane pose. Float your legs up as well. Lift a little bit higher with each breath in. Pelvis is heavy. Back of your neck is long. Last inhale, find your edge. Exhale, release yourself down into a tabletop position. Send your right leg back. This time, float your toes up off your mat so your leg is parallel to the ground. Inhale, reach your left arm forward. Stretch through your fingers, thumb faces the ceiling. Full breath in here. Exhale, tuck and squeeze, elbow to thigh. Inhale to extend. Exhale, tuck and squeeze. Inhale to reach. One more time. Hug in. Empty out. Inhale to reach. Option to hold here or bend your back knee. Grab hold of the inside edge of your foot. Then kick back and up into your hand. Rooting into your right palm to help you lift. Kick back and up. Inhale. Exhale. Float your limbs slowly to your mat. Send your left toes back. Float your leg up, so your left inner thigh is rising, pelvis stays level. Extend your right arm forward. Reach really long, take a breath in, find space. Exhale, tuck and squeeze, chin tucks. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug in. Inhale for your extension. Let's do this one more time, empty out. Elbow to thigh. Inhale to reach. Bend into your floating leg, reach back. Grab your foot if that's available. Then kick upwards. Left toes are rising. Left palm is grounding. Bring lots of space between your fingers. Stay for your inhale. Exhale to tabletop position. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Take a breath in through your nose. And just sigh that out. Take a few more breaths on your own. Reconnecting. Eyes closed down. With your next breath in, reach your right leg straight back. Push into your heel. Step your foot forward for warrior one. Dropping your back heel, ground firmly through your feet, reach up. Virabhadrasana A. 
Right knee is tracking with your middle toe. Lengthen your spine on your in-breath. Open to warrior two, taking a nice long stance. So eventually, your right thigh will be parallel to your mat. Reach forward through your right fingers. Land your elbow to your thigh, extended side angle. Option to use your elbow for support here, or open your arms into a T. Right fingertips hover. Peel your top shoulder back. Check in with the quality of your breath. Gaze softens. Press into your feet. Rise up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Float to your left leg. Standing splits. Pour your chest down towards your right foot. Floating leg is just as active as your standing leg. Can you press them both straight? Release your foot down, breathe out, forward fold. Walk your feet open so they're hip distance apart. Take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Draw your chest down. Elbows move away from one another. Pressing into the balls of your feet here. Surrender your head and neck, allowing your breath to naturally slow down. And if you have space here, slide your whole palms under your feet for gorilla pose. Your toes will come in contact with your wrist creases. This is a really nice restorative posture for the wrist. Keep tipping your weight forward so your heels are light. And they're just touching your mat. Elbows move towards the sidewalls. And breathe. Release whatever grip you have. Walk your feet together, big toes touch. And then deep bend in your knees, reach your arms to the sky, chair pose, utkatasana. Get low into your heels. And then on your in-breath, stand tall, reach up, expand your chest, press your pelvis forward, bring your palms to connect at the center of your heart, grounding down. We'll move here into a balancing posture. Take your weight over into your right foot, and then take your left foot up to the inside of your leg. Anywhere above or below your knee spine, so we just don't want to feel any pressure onto the side of the knee joint. Take your palms together to connect. Low belly draws in and up. And then throw your branches to the sky. Start to lift your chest. Shoulders drop back. Standing leg is straight. Your right kneecap is lifting. Take your palms back through to heart center. Step your foot down. Let's move to the other side. Step into your left foot. Take your right foot up to the inside of your leg. Above or below your knee joint. Your toes might even be down on your mat like a kickstand. You're welcome to use a wall here too. Sometimes balance just isn't our friend. Arms rise up in your own time. Pull your shoulder blades down. And if you feel really steady, you might move your arm side to side this time. Almost as though your branches are swaying in the breeze. Keep your gaze steady. Inhale back through center, and exhale, palms connect. Step your foot down. At the top of your mat, reach your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift here, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your right leg all the way back, crescent lunge. Your back knee stays lifted, stretch up. Sink low into your left heel. Hip bones square to the wall in front of you. And then take your arms wide into a T or cactus. Twist over to the left side. Pull more length up through the crown of your head. Breathe in. 
Exhale, twist deeper. Start to rotate your gaze to the back wall. Really pressing deeper with each breath. And then take your left hand down to the back of your right thigh. Reach your right arm up. Sink a little bit lower into your front knee. Drive your back toes into your mat. Your back leg is supporting you. Stay low. Breathe here. Move back through center. Inhale. Open up to warrior two. Exhale. Catch your gaze over your left middle finger. Flip that palm up. Reach it to the sky. Reverse your warrior. Leaning back. Maintaining that deep lunge in your left knee joint. Pull up to warrior two. Breathe in. Exhale your hands to the inside of your left foot. Lower your back knee down. Walk your left foot open wide for your lizard. And you're welcome to come down onto your elbows once more here. But this time we'll add a twist. With your left hand to your thigh, inhale to create that space. Exhale to twist into that space. Option number one, stay here. Option number two, left arm reaches up. Option number three, pull your right heel in towards your body and then grab hold of that foot. Lots going on here, stay connected. Breathing into those spaces of resistance. Unravel as you exhale, plant your palms down. Tuck your right toes under, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Bend your knee, open up through your hips. And float your toes back to your mat, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down. Untuck your toes. Interlace your fingers behind you for locust pose. Reach your knuckles back, chest rises. And then float your legs as well. Spread wide through your toes. Find that long line from the balls of your feet through the top of your head. Gaze is down. Float higher on your inhale. Exhale, release. Press yourself back into a tabletop. Take your knees open wide, drop your hips to your heels, child's pose. Resting your forehead down on your mat. You might rock your head side to side here. Massaging into the space between your eyebrows. Pelvis is heavy. Breath is deep. Inhale, rise up, tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Find a forward fold. Take an in-breath, halfway left. Exhale, fold your chest down. Inhale, raise your arms up, chest lifts. Exhale, dive right back down, forward fold. Walk your feet open so they meet the outside edges of your mat, and then drop your hips down towards the ground. Take your palms to meet, Anjali Mudra. Lift your chest up towards your thumbs. And can you soften your inner thighs here? And sometimes it feels good to rock side to side, shifting weight from your right foot to your left foot. And press your hands back to the ground, forward fold. Walk your feet together, big toes touch. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, walk your hands forward, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Again, breathing in. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Arms rise, breathe in. Dive down, breathe out. Halfway lift. Left leg steps back, crescent lunge. Take a nice long stance, feet are hip distance apart, and rise. 
Feel the solid nature of your foundation. Abdominals are firm. Open your arms into a cactus or a T. Start to twist to the right side with each breath out. Hugging your abdominal muscles in. Trace your gaze back, extending your twist up into your cervical spine. And then land your right hand to the back of your left thigh. Reach your left arm up. Really feeling that long line from your left foot through your pinky finger. With your next inhale, move back to center. Exhale, open up your stance, find warrior two. Tailbone drops down. Flip your right palm up, reach it to the sky, reverse your warrior. Getting lower into your front knee as you lean back. Warrior two, deep breath in. Exhale, land your hands to the inside of your right foot. Lower your back knee down. Heel toe your right foot nice and wide. Toes pivot out. Option to come down onto your elbows. Let's add our twist with our right palm to the thigh. Twist right. We'll stay here, option number one. Option number two, right arm reaches up actively. Option number three, bend your left leg. Grab the outside edge of your foot. Pull that heel closer to your body if you're craving a deeper stretch. Right knee is bent. That front heel is heavy. One more deep breath. Move yourself back through center. Exhale, both palms plant. Tuck your back toes, right leg stretches up and back. Bend your knee, open up through your hips. Float your foot down, breathe out. Inhale, forward, high plank. Exhale, drop down all the way to your belly. We'll move into one more spine strengthener. This time, bend your knees, grab the outside edges of your feet. If this isn't available, take a locust or one of our previous options. Hug your inner thighs towards the midline and then start to kick back and up into your hands. Chest rises, gaze rises, and finally thighs lift as well. Press down into your pelvis. And challenge yourself here, work deeper, toes are rising, legs are strong, full breath in. Exhale, float down, tabletop. Take your knees open wide, child's pose. And soften through your torso. Heart space is relaxed. Inhale, shift forward, tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of your mat, forward fold. Belly rest to your thighs. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms stretch up, press down through your feet. Exhale, bring your hands together. We'll do one more balance now, moving into dancer pose. Take your weight into your right foot. Reach your right arm up into the air. Grab hold of the inside of your left foot. Squeeze your knees together. You might stay right here. Or if you'd like to move deeper, kick back. Start to tip forward from your hips. Right arm extends straight ahead. Gaze follows. And as you press into your right foot, lift your left foot higher. Cooperating with your breath. Last one. Load your foot down, exhale, release. You can shake out your legs here, get ready for the other side. Take your weight into your left foot, toes widen. Reach your left arm up. Grab the inside of your right foot, and first just connect your thighs. Hug everything towards the midline. Keep that, and then kick back and up into your hand. 
gradually hinging from your waist. Right leg is strong as your toes lift. Expand through the front line of your body. Face is soft. Lift higher through your right toes. Full breath in. Exhale, return to standing. Take your palms together. Close down your eyes. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Step your feet open and drop down into a squat position, Malasana. Use your elbows to widen your knees. Feel the crown of your head light, lifting, and then support yourself with your hands. Take yourself down to your seat. Take your feet together for butterfly pose. Take your heels in close to your body. Grow tall through your back. Inhale. Exhale to fold forward. Keep a straight spine. You're welcome to use your elbows or your hands to guide your knees closer to the ground. And find some depth in your breath. Press up with your next inhale. Take your legs open wide. We'll do one more forward fold. Tense your fingertips behind you as you lift your toes actively. Once more, spine is long. Fold as you breathe out. Reach your chest forward. Hands can come in front of you if you're folding a little bit deeper, maybe your elbows come down, or even your forehead down to your mat. But just choose a variation that really allows for some ease in your breath. With your next inhale, rise. Support your knees, close them together. Roll down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest here. Rock yourself side to side. Taking your feet down to your mat, press your right ankle over your left thigh. Flex your foot, and then pull your left knee in, but grab the back of your thigh. Here, start to extend your left leg up towards the ceiling as you pull your right knee away from your body, so both legs are active. If you're a little bit more open, you might grab hold of your left calf muscle. Rock your leg side to side. And notice how these small shifts can change the sensation. And then maybe just land in a position that is interesting to you. And chin softly drops towards your throat. Back of your neck is long. And release. Take your feet open as wide as your mat. Drop your thighs side to side. Creating a windshield wiper movement with your legs. Palms rest to your belly. And next time your knees move to the left, invite some stillness. Take your left foot and stack it on top of your right thigh. Get heavy. And slide your foot off your knee, move back through center, inhale. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Pull your left knee away from your body. And then grab the back of your right thigh. Work towards straightening your right leg. So if it doesn't straighten all the way, that's all right. Press up into that heel. Option to grab hold of your shin or your calf. And send your breath down into your left hip. Your right hamstring and glute muscles. 
float your feet down to the outside edges of your mat. Find some side to side movement here. Knees drop, right side, left side. When you're ready, settle your knees over to the right. Stack your right foot on top of your left knee. Relax your back muscles. Relax your thigh and hip muscles. Landing in a place where only your breath moves your body. As thoughts arise, just let them go. They will dissolve just as quickly as they arise. Stay here. Unhook your ankle, take your knees back through center. If there's any final movement you'd like to take, I invite you to explore that. And then we'll meet in a Shavasana. Lay yourself flat on your back. Expand your limbs, palms turn up. Make any shifts that you require to completely let go. Take a full body inhale, and then let that go. Exhale, drop heavy. And I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Rest here now, free of expectations, free of effort. Before you move, draw your focus back to your breath. And then gently rock your head side to side. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Feeling that new life down into your limbs, expand your movements, reach your arms overhead, full body stretch. Gather your knees into your chest, shifting side to side. Move on to your right hand side into a fetal position. Curl your knees in close to your chest. Rest your head on your right bicep. Invite some gratitude here. And maybe for having this time to practice, maybe for something in your life right now. Make your way up to seated. Bring your hands together. We'll close down our practice just taking three breaths together. Sitting up tall, shoulders are down. Breathe in through your nose and sigh that out.